let's talk about put option and again i would have to invite mike and mary to explain uh, this concept uh, so let me start with the example suppose if i'm looking at google and google is right now at 700 dollars and i have mary who already owns google and uh, she is uh, expecting the google to go high and she thinks that that will uh, be a good return on her investment but she's also worried that what if the google goes down it can go to 680 it can go to 650 and she will she don't want to lose that money so she is looking for some kind of protection on the same time mike he wants to enter into google he wants to buy some more google and uh, he thinks that uh, i should be able to buy this at 680 so he's he is looking to buy at 680 and he don't want to buy at 700 so he only thing he can do is now he has to wait for one month or maybe two months or maybe five days no nobody knows right so either he can keep waiting or he can enter a contract with mary in that case mary will give mike five dollars and for five dollars mike will promise that he will buy the stock for 680 and after one month so if he promises my mary that he will buy the stock even if it goes below at 680 then mary will have a downside protection so her maximum loss will be equal to dollar 20 because uh, it can go to uh, 680 plus the five dollars which she paid for the premium so now she has more peace of mind and in case of mike he is happy because he made five dollars and if uh, stock goes down then he can also purchase it for 650 so 680 so if he buys for 680 he can subtract this five dollars from it and it will and he will end up buying the google for 675 so now what will happen after one month stock can either go down and uh, so in it can go to maybe uh, 670 or it can go up uh, maybe to 720 so we have both uh, mike and mary so how the profits will look like for both of them so in if you talk about mike then because it went to 670 he is uh, now he has to purchase it for 680 so he bought it at 680 but he was paid five dollars for it and uh, so the five dollars is extra right so he bought it at 680 so because he bought it at 680 and the stock is right now at uh, 7 670 he lost ten dollars here and uh, but he made five dollars here so his total loss will be equal to five dollars because he got paid five dollars from mary right so his total is uh, loss is five dollars but if you talk about mary then uh, she would sell her stock to mike for 680 so she lost twenty dollars here and uh, she also paid five dollars to mike so that five dollars will also add up so she lost total of 25 dollars now if we are talking about uh, uh, upside then in case of mike he will not be able to buy the stock because the stock never went to 680 so in that case he will make five dollars so his total profit will be five dollar so now look at this that even though he didn't made he didn't purchase uh, any stock he was still able to make five dollars just for his waiting for the stock to go to 680 or willingness to buy the stock at 680 but in case of mary uh, because it go went to 720 she will not be uh, keeping all the profit because now her profit is 20 but she paid five dollars uh, to mike so that will result in a total profit of 15 dollars for her 
so she lost a little bit of premium but uh, she was able to protect herself herself from downside so this is how the option works so let me go to the example here so suppose if i'm talking about uh, the profit chart and uh, this is the stock so uh, if i am buying the stock at here so this is the stock price and this is the profit so if i'm buying the stock here the stock will go up or down so i have uh, exposure to both profit and losses so what i can do is i can buy a put option so by buying a put option i am protecting myself at this stage so whatever if the stock goes below this price then i will not lose any money but because i paid for it i would have my my entire chart will shift down so this chart will shift here because i paid a premium so because i paid a premium i lost some money so i am already here because this is the premium i paid and now if the stock goes up i'm going to make money however if stocks will not go up i'll end up uh with the premium i paid as a loss so this is how the chart will look like for a put option so if i am uh, buying a put option uh if i'm selling a put option then in this case uh if the stock goes up i will have a profit because i bought a premium for it but if the stock goes down then i'm limit i'm exposed to all the uh downward side if the stock goes way below then I'm, i will have to tolerate all the pro, uh, all the losses so in that case uh, i am exposed so this is mike and this is mary so now again uh, the premium for the put option will depend upon both the strike price and the expiry date so if the strike price is uh, uh, $700 then it's more likely to go below $700 so in that case the premium will be maybe you can say $5 but if the strike price is 650 so i'm 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 willing to buy at 650 in that case the premium will go to maybe 50 cents because it's less likely for it to go there so this is i'm talking about one month but if i'm talking about 6 months in that case uh price can uh that is more likely for the stock to move farther distances so in that case it will be 50 dollars and the 651 will be 5 dollars so the price will be higher because it's more likely for the stock to move either up or down so the premium will depend both on the expiry date and the strike price so i hope this video help and i'll see you again in the next video thank you